All right, I know a lot of you have been waiting for this one, as have I. Elementary OS has just released its new version. It is called Luna, and we're going to take a look at that right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Okay, let's begin. All right, well, here it is. This is Elementary OS Luna. I loved a lot of the uh, innovations that Elementary OS Jupyter had, but I'm not seeing a lot of those things, but that could be a fault of the GNOME shell that this is based on. Okay, when you look at the upper right corner of the screen, you have a power button. This is, uh, is your users button here which will allow you to switch users, that sort of thing. Okay, and then of course your status, whether you're available, away, busy, and then of course your chat options are located here. All right, and then of course, for those of you who are on a laptop, uh, this is your notification. You can also adjust your power settings from here. And then of course your internet connection and a volume control. In the middle, in the top middle, you have quick access to your calculator and date and time settings. And then on the upper left, you have your applications. And this uses the very popular slingshot menu. And it looks like they did a nice little set of tweaking on it. You can search for things. So if you wanted to, you know, uh, run a command, you could run a command here rather than in many other distributions where you would hit Alt F2 to get a run dialog. You can run them from here. And CPT, of course, is a command that I use to find out, um, you know, to find out what a mode line would be for a custom resolution. And I'll probably show you guys how to do that in an upcoming tutorial. Okay. So at any rate, you get a simple uh, file roller, a calculator, a calendar, uh, a document viewer, the empathy instant messaging, which I believe is what is built in uh, to this icon here. Uh, you have a file manager, which is kind of crippled by comparison to the previous uh, file managers that Elementary OS had. I used to love um, Nautilus Elementary because you could do some really cool things with it. You had the cover flow effects. You could even embed a terminal into the uh, into your file manager and unfortunately this functionality is not available as a matter of fact uh, i don't even see a gear here where you can uh, change options and that sort of thing uh, personally i like nemo as my file manager because at least they kept a lot of the options that gnome took out of its file manager so but nonetheless it is very nice looking and uh, through my testing it was fairly easy to use you get gear email, you get the lightweight Midori web browser, you get Totem as your movie player, and I'll tell you what, kids, I absolutely love Totem. I prefer it over VLC, and the nice thing about this is uh, it does some really nice, uh, it does some nice accelerated effects if your graphics card has it and has a nice G-Streamer back end. Okay, and then of course you have a music player. Scratch is their notepad, which I thought was very nice. You can take a screenshot. You get the Shotwell Photo Manager, Simple Scan. The Ubuntu Software Center comes with this. Your system settings where you will manage everything right here. Uh, from your brightness and lock, the defaults, your desktop, language support, privacy settings, and startup applications. And then, of course, you can install additional drivers if you need them. Color management, your displays, keyboard, mouse and touchpad preferences, power, printers, sound, the Wacom graphics tablet, and then, of course, uh, Bluetooth and network. And then, of course, your uh, about about your system, time and date, universal access, and user accounts. On the bottom of the screen, you also have quick access to some of these things that they feel you may be able to use most, such as the Midori uh, web browser, the Agini Mail, the Empathy IM client, your calendar, your music player, your movie player, Shotwell, system settings, and your software center. All in all, great distribution for beginners. Uh, 
you know, it doesn't have that many tweaks really for uh, customizing this a whole lot, you know, maybe modifying or changing your panels, unlike uh, maybe if you were to use an XFCE desktop or uh, a KDE desktop that gives you a lot more customization options, but a great option for those of you who just want a simple, nice system that works right out of the box. And because this is based on Ubuntu 12.04, you will have, uh, I believe, um, five years of support on this. So in 2017, uh, you know, this will be supported until 2017. So that'll be a great for a, a lot of you out there. Personally, I think there are just way too many Ubuntu-based distributions out there. I'm sure a number of you agree with me on this one. But this is nice in its own right. I mean, uh Elementary has always brought some interesting innovations to Linux, and you'll see that this is a very nice quality distribution to play with. So all of you beginners out there, definitely worth giving this a shot. But for advanced users, mm, I don't know if I would recommend this one. I'd probably say go with, uh, uh, go with Debian or an Arch-based system. Mm -hmm.